As we move into form three, there are different techniques for doing this. I like to take, this is going to be the third form counterline to the inside. I like to take a lot of some slag off my primer. This is all now technique. As we get to the back end of the shave, technique becomes increasingly more important. All right? This is slag, and it's yummy stuff. And what I do is I just put my slag up. And I'm going to pick up a little. Now, one thing you can do here, let me just show all of you how to do this. This is getting back to the cloth a minute. What you can do is you can take your cloth and you can dip it in some water. Hold it up, dip it in some water, hold it up, and you can kind of do what is called a brace up. Kind of pick up that, that beard buttress. Oh, this feels so good. And this is going to pick up the beard buttress that may be hiding flat against your face. Feels incredibly good. And then go and smooth it out and go back and start clearing the second form again. Now we're going back to first and second form because I can still, I can still feel some beard, some buttress, but it's starting to disappear now pretty fast. We're going to head into the third form now. I smooth the mix, give it a nice compounding, and I now watch this. I'm going to now start to cut to the inside. I like to, I like to start on the third quadrant. That's pretty darn clean. I'm going to come down now with what is called a crossover cut. Those of you who have been in my clinics or through my clinic system have learned this. I invented this cut a few years ago. I'm going to show you on this other side. We come down on the second and we come up. Notice how I'm cutting up to the inside. There is no south-north cut, please. There's up, down. Those of you at home would call this an against the grain line cut, uh, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. We call it a third form counter line cut to be more specific in method terms. I'm on the second quad. I'm on the second form again here, clearing the third quadrant. And the fourth, I'm still catching some buttress. I can hear it clearing. Now I'm going to come back. Watch this inverted cut line, cut technique right here. We come back down. There's your third, third form line again. All right. Well, that's about it pretty darn clean. Now what I'm going to do is, because I'm working out of a terrine here, <clears throat> I'm not going to rinse down. What I'm going to do, normally you would rinse down afterwards. I'm just going to dry down. I don't have really the convenience of a kitchen sink here to do this. So I'm just going to kind of pat down a little bit. 
because I want to show you another really, really great technique. Now I'm just about gloss clean. I can feel a little bit of buttress right here. And what I can do is I can do what is called a dry blade reduction. At this point, my face is pretty dry. Uh, and I've dried it off, but that doesn't mean I have to stop shaving, and it doesn't mean that you have to stop shaving too. What you can do is you can take a little bit of water and just lay it up. Such a great system. You just lay it up, and then you just come on through and kind of touch cut. We call this touch cut technique. And look at what you may have missed and just go on ahead and blade it off. I'm using a second form starter cut here to go on ahead and catch it. Clear what's whatever's left. Notice I'm using a technique I invented called the blade pitch, pulling the pulling the razor back and rolling the blade forward. It's particularly effective on the second and third form cut. I come down, and when you when you pitch a blade, I'm, I'm constantly pitching here. Notice I'm pulling back. And catching everything that's left. Question is, why do we need to use a blade pitch? Because you have on the double-edged razor, you have what is called a safety bar. Uh, I call it a blade gap aperture, whatever, whichever expression you prefer. It's a safety bar that gaps the blade and keeps the blade away from the skin for safety purposes. In method shaving, we don't, we don't, we, we, we bypass that. And we bypass it by lifting the grip away from the skin and rolling the blade forward. And it's particularly effective on the second and third forms coming up and lift, rolling that blade back as we cut that third form counterline. To the inside, please do not do a south-north line. Even with method shaving, that is a very, very risky line. There is no such form as a south-north line. So please don't do it. It's not necessary. Uh, over the years, I've had many conversations about this. It is not necessary to do. All you have to do is cut to the inside, roll that roll back on the pitch, on the third three-quarter pitch on the blade, and just come through and you'll be fine. All right, now, at this point, I'm very, very, very clean, all right? All that stuff, I got a little bit right here, so I'm gonna do a quick dry blade reduction. My face is pretty much all dry. I'm gonna come down, watch you, see this? I'm pitching, see I'm pitching, I'm going to catch this stuff now that it's dried down. Notice I'm not looking in the mirror, don't really need to. That's what the beauty of the forms is all about. I'm listening for that buttress, I'm going to want to find, hear that blade, clear that buttress. All right. And that completes forms one, two, and three. In our next segment, we will cover the final conditioning and tonic sequence.